Instruments say we are, so hope is an ancient phrase. Well, we have never deflected such a large cosmic radiation, so our instruments may have been unable to calculate it exactly. So hope is not totally inappropriate. It is also way beyond the cosmic radiation. Well, outside calculation, there is hope. True. Should hope be outside our knowledge and without evidence? Well, in a few seconds our hope may be corrected one way or another. Without our intervention, the planet will no longer bear life forms. Its atmosphere will be stripped away. Our mission is to save life forms. Whether we are included will depend on the capacity of our instruments. Shields up and deflectors on. Hope, sorry, I anticipate our shields are capable. Hope so, I anticipate so. My antenna is picking up a very strong force. The ship is sinking into the earth. We need to get into survival stasis mode. Hi, Ian Dylan. What's you doing? We are doing some tidying and sorting. Why don't you join us? The more the merrier, Z. Eh? Might find some rare treasures. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, it might be fun. Count me in. <laughs> sort out some of the books from that box? Some are very old and a bit delicate. How do I sort out the books? Maybe travel, history, and there's a lot of old novels to be sorted into alphabetical order. Well, I'll just dip in the box. What's this? The mystery of Mile Valley? I hadn't heard of any mystery. What is it about? Maybe that's the mystery. Nobody has heard of it. Let's have a look at it. Looking at the title pages, it's 90 years old. Well, we are supposed to sort them, not read them. But it is interesting. Okay, let's have a short break to have a look at the book. There's a map here. I recognise Chestnut Hall. And it's about a mile away from there in a valley. But it's all trees there now. But the map doesn't show any. But what is the mystery? Let's have a quick flick through the pages. There's loads of chapters. There's one on witches and healing powers 
another one lights and noises coming from the ground. Let's look on the last chapter. It's about getting diggers to excavate the site and things going wrong. People feeling ill and equipped not working. It was declared a private piece of land and a large fence surrounded it. It's probably that dense bit of woodland that has grown up near Chestnut Hall. It used to have a lot of barbed wire around it. Yes, I remember when some friends having a walk to it on the way. Someone fell ill and somebody else needed carrying him back home. So how do we get there? Whatever is there, or even whoever is there, they seem to be protected in some way. You mean they expect harm? So how do we show, or whatever, that we mean no harm? Maybe walking arm in arm and carrying gifts of food. Let's meet up tomorrow. Meanwhile, let's carry on with our work in the shop. Agreed. According to the old map, it should be nearby. It was a popular place to visit. Well, there is a piece of woodland at the end of this field. No gates? Let's see if we can find a gap in the hedge. We could squeeze through here. There is the ruin of an old tractor over there. Maybe that is a clue as to where the spacecraft is buried. No, only the ancient idea of mysterious powers that the site was supposed to possess. Calmness and peace mainly. Sometimes strange noises and lights. Maybe it's a communication thing. We don't even know if there's anybody here. Maybe time is different to them. Let's form a circle. It's a sign of trust and togetherness. It's spooky in here. So who is bringing about these changes? Or what? Do you care? I suppose you've been here a very long time. So you are here for our good? Do you trust us? Stand where you are and we will meet. I am Bottleneck. You have been communicating with me. The pilots of the travel orb are not yet, as you might put it, awake. When the cosmic rays were about to break, I had the task of disassembling them, as the life risk was too high. I am a robot and have been guarding my two travellers from harm. I am called Bottleneck partly because Part of my construction enables me to stretch my neck without moving the rest of my body. Have you been looking after your two companions from where you landed? Yes, all of our vessels have robot guardians. Without us, they would not be safe in periods when they are as beings disassembled. Thank you for helping us. Uh, glad we could help. Shame here. And me. But without your help, none of us would be here. Nor would our planet. My name is Sluggers. Thank you for your positive sentiment. It is what keeps our world free of damaging conflict. You must have been here for a long time. We found you mentioned in a book on local mysteries. I am called Spot Eyes. Yes, our companion technical controller, Bottleneck, 
took control when the cosmic surge was detected. But we have been in a disconnected state until your appearance. But when in that state, we are not experiencing anything. But it will take a long time to get back to your world. In your world of time, it will take a very long time. But we don't exist in that sort of space and time. We must leave soon, otherwise your time will take us in and we will be unable to return. I think your parting greeting is goodbye and thank you. I too would like to say a greeting of a thanks to you. I would want to say thank you as well. Move about ten paces backwards and close your eyes for a moment. Goodbye. Goodbye. If anybody asked you what just happened and you told them, would they believe you? <laughs>